Howdy folks and welcome back. So today I had uh, been asked how I do my packaging for my lures. So I'm going to go through it step by step with you. And this is the way that I do it. Don't mean it's the way you want to do it, but it's the way that I do it. So the first thing we do is we select our lure that we're going to paint because each one even though it looks the same it's still a custom painted bait that's an individual within itself because no two of them are going to be exactly exactly the same so uh, let's just start on that note uh, after we paint the lure we epoxy the lure get the lure dried and the hooks on the lure and the rings and uh, all that fun stuff that you see me doing every day uh, it goes into a ziplock bag we print two barcodes Okay, one inside of here on this uh, uh, index card, I actually write on the card what colors that we used in that bait. Okay, uh, the, the kind of bait it is, like this one is a 1.5 square bill, and what size of hooks we use on that bait, and what epoxy we've used on that bait on this card. And, uh, once that we get all that done, it goes to the girl, the wife, the honey, uh, and she starts doing the marketing part of this whole video, or this whole uh, packaging. Sorry about that, folks. And uh, she will take this lure, and she will photograph this lure, and get this lure put up on the website. Uh, www, nope, no www, after she photographs it, it goes on the website at uglydoglures.com, and then she brings this lure back to me when she has done her marketing part of it, and I will take this lure, and I will take it out of the bag, and these are earring backs, we order them uh, 3,000 at a time, they come in, and I take this little earring back and I just start putting it on the hooks on this lure. And the reason I do that is to keep uh, people from getting stuck with these hooks because these hooks are very sharp. These mustad hooks that I use are a very, very high quality hook and a good hook. So we, after we duh, get them done all the way around and it also makes it easier to package them and when you're taking them out of the packaging if they're hooked or got the earring backs on them they will not rip that packaging so it's just it's just a a very good thing to do folks just like that right there it is hooked it's got the backs on it and so now that I've got all of that done, we go to a Hobby Lobby and buy these treat bags. You get 50 of them for $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. You'll find them in the cake aisle. Okay? And that's what I use as part of my packaging. I'll take that treat bag and match that treat bag to the size of the packaging, just about an inch below, half inch. Just like that right there, and I'll cut that treat back. It's what I do. 
And once that I get that part done, I'll take this number that's on here, and here's the other barcodes. I'll pull this number is 447 EDL 5.447. I will pull it off of the barcode sheet. And then it goes here on the lure. So at that point, folks, we are ready to package. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this lure into the package. Just like that right there. We're going to line that lure up with the bottom of that package. And get it in there just like this right here. Just like that. That lure is, is almost packaged now. We're going to take the stapler, reach right down in the center, and we're going to put a staple in that package. We have already put our barcode on. It's already in the package and packaged. Then we're going to take the hole punch and punch a hole in the center so that we can hang it on a hook. So folks, this is how that I package my lures. Uh, if this lure was actually painted on the channel, it gets one of these stickers here, as seen on YouTube. And it will be put on the packaging of this lure. Just like that right there. So you know that this lure was painted on YouTube for the channel. So you folks have a blessed afternoon. And this is the way that I do my packaging. If you got any questions, drop them me a comment below. And I'll do my best to answer them. Y'all have a blessed day. And I'll catch you later.